Michael Watson here reporting for Pro Sound News TV, uh, Pro Light and Sound Highlights. We are at Turbo Sound with Dom and we're going to talk about the Flashline system. Okay, morning. Uh, Flashline is uh, Turbo Sound's re entry to the top level of touring market, basically. So it's a four way top on slide array. I'm pretty sure it's the only four way top on slide array. Okay, and then a, a new sub that goes with it, and then a power package, which is a relationship we've launched with Lab Group in the show. So, uh, in the case of the sub, it's a new kind of loading for turbos, it's a dual 18 inch, uh, 1500 watt RMS per driver, so 3000 watt RMS box, 6000 watt RMS, you know, 6000 watt continuous peak, what have you. The major difference actually for, for us is that we've ported the rear volume of the driver. Uh, that's a new thing for turbo sound, and what that means is one box will do the bottom octave, so it's about minus 3 dB at 33 hertz, so it's a real festival sub. Part of the reason for that change is that older turbo systems have pretty high crossover points, which meant most of the kick drum came out the subs, predominantly the subs are on the ground, and the engineers have got used to that kick drum coming out the air. So we wanted to do the same thing with Flashline. So this box goes from like 60 hertz all the way up, starts off with a couple of 12 inch drivers, and uh, those are on the similar loading to the base bin. So you've got a little horn here, okay, and the rear volume of the drivers ported around the back. From there, they do like 60 to 250 hertz, -ish, basically. Um, the reason they can't go any higher than 250 hertz is it starts to get narrow and, and break. So we then go into another band that's slightly closer together, 250 to 600 hertz, okay. And that's, you know, that's a unique loading in the line array market. Most people have like direct radiating drivers, and whilst there's nothing wrong with that, that's kind of not what people know us for, and it isn't turbo sound. The next thing that's turbo, you know, through and through, is six and a half inch drivers. So right back from like the 1980s, we've had a driver for the voice. And that's true all the way through flashlight, floodlight, uh, flex array, and then in flashline. So we've got the same driver that we use in flex array, but we've got two of them in the box. Okay, and that driver does all your voice. And that's absolutely unique in line arrays to turbo sound. Nobody else does that. Then there's uh, three of our little one inch drivers, and uh, they do they're tweeters basically, like super tweeters, they do 6 kilohertz and up. It's uh, elements here from Lake, Dante, Lab Gruppen and yourselves. Yeah, so basically we've partnered with uh, Lab Gruppen for the amplifier package. Uh, as far as we're concerned, that's the most sophisticated line array in the world. That, without any question, is the most sophisticated amplifier in the world. So what it brings is, at this level, rental companies need worldwide consistency. The engineers need to turn up in everywhere in the world and put the faders up and go, that's exactly what I'm expecting to happen. So we had to partner with people to do that. And the more you look around the market, you've got Dante cards on half the digital consoles in the market at the moment, uh, more coming. You've got Dante on the back of the amplifier and it's becoming, for a rock and roll live world, it's beginning to become a network standard. So the amp's got Dante. In terms of the lake element, what actually happened is about half the flex array in the world has got uh, PLM 10,000 cues from Lab Group and behind it, just because that's what the users chose to use. That then actually drove us to start using a lot of the lakes, processing the FIR filters, all the, all the tech stuff, to get a much better result out of what we already had. And the benefits that we got by doing that were night and day from where we originally started. And that just meant it's absolutely logical to do it with Flashlight. And, it, and it's absolutely true to say, without that processing, the PA doesn't work. So it's a major, major step forward from our point of view. And then as for the amplifier, uh, it's the most powerful amp in this package we can find. Uh, and it sounds great, so why wouldn't we? Uh, finally, no, absolutely. Finally, is this going to be appearing then in some festivals this year? Yep. Do we know which yet, or can we say Nope. It? Okay. <laughs> well, good luck with it anyway. Yeah, thank Thanks you very much. much.